Woo! Despite my channel being a family-friendly channel with content suitable for all ages, this Let's Play series of Ghost Trick Phantom Detective has been rated T for Teen due to it featuring mild language and mild violence. So viewer discretion is advised for this Let's Play series. Oh boy, welcome back to Ghost Trick Phantom Detective, everybody. This is it, the big one. This is now chapter 15 where the plot just goes bonkers. And just, I think we need a, do need a little bit of a recap before okay. before we start. So, last episode we learned a ton of stuff. Missile died and yeah. has ghost tricks and then blew away because he possessed a leaf and, like, the wind blew him away. Yeah. Um, what else? We learned that Sissel was apparently the guy who held Lynn hostage in the park ten years ago. Yeah. Died... Yeah. And yet somehow now 10 years later. I also had a second theory. I was driving back home in, <laughs> from voice in the car and I got stuck in traffic for like a long time. And <laughs> what else are you going to do but Suddenly I had the trip. thought and I was like, wait a minute. Cabanella had said something like, oh, I was able to like fix her scores so they would be right. Maybe he used like ghost tricks for that. Oh, like so maybe Cabanella. he's the ghost tricker because he was the one that's like. By the way, I don't care what you say. The execution needs to happen. So. Also, I apologize if you hear a lawnmower in the background. <laughs> but we we couldn't wait. This episode is gonna be great. Yeah. yeah. Also, Cabanella it, like called us and was like, "Hey, you better kill the guy." <laughs> or so, else. So apparently, he's like a villain. I, there's some crazy stuff happening. Oh, and also, Ray is no longer possessing the oh. lamp. Uh, I don't care about the Xbox game bar. What the? the Xbox game bar? I'm sorry. What the bleep is going on here? I don't know. Uh, okay. That, um, well, that was bizarre. We just got a pop-up window for the Xbox game bar, which okay. we don't have any good... Anyways, yeah, let's start. This is probably the best start, like, ever. Okay, it's 2.55 a.m. Nothing good happens then. Nothing good or, happens after 2 a.m. Uh, or as some people say, nothing good happens after 9 p.m. <laughs> Ten years ago, a man named Sissel took a little girl named Lynn hostage and then was killed by a meteorite Hold up. fragment. Hold how loud is this? Is it the right volume? No, I'm talking about the game audio. Game audio is fine. Is it? Okay, yes, I already I, checked. Okay. Tonight, a man named Sissel met a detective named Lynn at a junkyard on the edge of town and then was killed by a bullet. But the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of oh, my lost memory. boy, this is gonna be great. I'm excited. There's two Sissels! I see... myself. I was right! There must have been clones, or something. What's up? There you are, Commander Sif. Finally. Sissel, where have you been, my good man? <laughs> We've been looking everywhere for you. Had a little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I believe we fulfilled every one of your conditions in our little deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside our bargain? We can talk about that when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Cecil. Oh, Cabanel is dead. Okay. Dawn is approaching. The darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep. But I know it's always darkest before the dawn. This is great. Hmm, yes. We're nearing the final stages of our little deal, my good man. Yes, sir. All preparations are complete, sir. And we just had a report, sir. Lights have been spotted, sir. Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. It's been a while since I've seen these two. The, bl the, the Blue Man first group. First episode. Second. Second. Okay. Hmm, yes, we're very close. We will now disconnect from the communication cable and have no service until we arrive, sir. Wait, is this a spaceship? Very well. I don't think that's how you're supposed to do that, Muscle Man. Also, that Muscle Man has been sta standing here for like eight hours now, <laughs> straight. Yeah. Oh, where is he? Are they in a ship? They are in a submarine or a ship yeah, of some kind. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> I wonder if they were in a spaceship, but I guess they're in I a mean, submarine. Not the same, but kind of close. Cool. Nice try, Inspector Cabanella. But 
but you could never stop me. Well, that was an interesting sprite. <laughs> See ya, sucker. So, Lynn, what's up? So Marty's Furious, that's the Blue Man group. <laughs> who made are, clones. Who made clones of Sissel. And so, like, there's our body and then there's his body, essentially. And we're mm -hmm. two different people. But but then there's or, also the Sissel that died ten years ago. Or, well, maybe that, maybe that was their prototype. <laughs> so you're saying they're free Sissels, basically. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> or it could be, like, um, what is it, Paper Mario? Where your, where your um, characters are like, oh, I'm the real, like, Goomba. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm the real, real Cooper. Cooper. <laughs> Whatever, oh. you have to, like, hammer the right one. <laughs> so, that submarine guy and his people have a deal going with me, do they? If that's the case, they probably aren't the ones who killed me, right? Anyway, there's definitely something behind the inspector's death. I think I'd better talk to him. This also could be the most insane... Um, Clown posse. N no. <laughs> this could also be the most insane time travel thing ever. That's true, because we Sissel, have... who's alive, Okay, he's so... got all of this thing going on, and then we as dead Sissel cause him to die. And we are, we're able to go... Then we're able to go back to like, the past, and be able to oh. make Lin kill him, so we get our consciousness, so This that, is really You know convoluted. what? You know what? This game is convoluted. Yeah, also, is. there's a desk lamp in here. <laughs> yes, there is. Different desk lamp from Ray. But, but... let's yeah. open this bat lid. Okay. <laughs> I just <laughs> had to do it's that. It's not even on the stove. Oh, ho, he's hiding in the stove. Uh, we can't go to the basement right now. We can hoist it. It won't move. It seems to be stuck on something. Just like how my mind is stuck on thinking about the inspector's death. Eh. It's kind of hard to forget with him sitting right there. We can, we can restore his life. <laughs> You're like, later, I want to explore the other stuff. Fine. You knew Inspector Cabanella was going to die. <laughs> I actually didn't know he was going to die. I thought he was evil, so... Oh. Hey, do you think you could wake up for me? I mean, but he's a kind of a big character, and sure. all the big characters die, pretty much. Oh boy, still unconscious, eh? Guess he hasn't been dead for very long, then. I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes before his death. I'm a little nervous about what I might see here, there, though. But if that's where I'm gonna find my answers, I can't run away from it. Okay. This might be my favorite death in the game. My favorite death. Just Do how it how it, how it plays out. Four minutes okay. before death, the build the super's office. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. That also explains why he had the execution. Carry out the execution immediately and wait for our call. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. It gives me complete control over the top police investigator in the country. What's the matter? All those broken bones smart a bit. What's it like to feel pain? Does it make you feel alive? Why are you doing this? <laughs> now is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge, of course. Revenge on all the people who stole my life away ten years ago. Clones. And then you embed the consciousness into the new clone. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. It was a meteorite that stole your life, or have you forgotten that? WRONG! I WAS MURDERED BY ALL OF YOU! Okay. Whatever floats your boat. Detective Jowd, who chased me down and forced me into a corner even though I was innocent. Lynn, that girl who was right there where I was running. Lynn, she was just an innocent little girl playing in the park! If that brat hadn't been there, I never would have thought of taking a hostage! Um... That's the most self-centered garbage I've ever heard. And finally, you, Inspector Cabanella. Me? If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. What'd he do? We were pals, old chums, but then one day he the stole his lunch money <laughs> and everything changed. And, and everything changed when the fire <laughs> nation attacked. <laughs> Dot com. You were so proud of your spotless record. And my case was the one blot on it, wasn't it? Only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Jowd. 
stupid spotless record. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you, won't it? One of the people who know about the stain on your record will disappear for good. That's why you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are. He ain't wrong. I got nothing to say to you. You never listen anyway. What? He has a gun! Is he a cyborg? He's still alive. Ye gods. Now then, Inspector. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. The... light? Oh, boy. This was another condition of my deal. To wipe out everybody who knew about Temzik. Ha. Okay. So, um... This still doesn't answer anything, but whatever. Revenge? That's what I'm up to? None of this makes any sense. Hey, man! Mind telling me what's going on? Inspector Cabanella! He's awake. My head is spinning, baby! Am I to understand that Cabanella character who just got shot is me? Uh, that's right. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me? I, uh, I guess so. But you couldn't be, could you? Huh? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So... Who are you? I guess I just have to face it. I'm not that Sissel guy. I'm... I'm somebody who's searching for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. At the very least, you have information about that guy in red. Information I need. I wonder... Uh, no, we can't, we can't manipulate bodies. No, we can't. I guess. I'm wondering if it's like, because we saw this us get shot, if that's why we put on the Sissel face, but in reality we're actually a different person. Oh, that's possible. Where... Yeah, because Lynn became Cabanella yeah, when because... she died, and then because she thought she was him. Yeah, and then that didn't happen. And where... Ray p shows himself as a desk lamp, even though he's clearly so not, not a, a desk, desk lamp. lamp. <laughs> sure. So you came on a rescue mission now, did you? Nothing like the sound of that, baby. Because there's a very important life here somewhere. A life valuable to this nation. Okay, so do your thing, baby. Okay, fine. Here's the thing. I don't know how we're gonna be able to stop a ghost tricks tricks with our ghost <laughs> tricks. Trick time. Tricky tricky. So, you're- are you a manipulator <laughs> too? I have ghost tricks. Powers of the dead, yeah, but... I can't control living creatures. Like this guy. Anywho, I think you'd better be very careful. That guy in red is a manipulator. Naturally, he knows about powers like yours. Well, yeah. If he realizes you're here, things might get a little sticky. You're right. I'd better be careful. Still. <laughs> Look at him. There's that something emanating from his body. Is it really the sign of having special powers of the dead? He doesn't have a core, though, which makes me think he's a clone! Because <laughs> our body did have a core. I just want to see what happens. <laughs> I want to see what happens. <laughs> he can instantly well, take his head. What's going on? I've never seen the ghost world like this. So you're here, are you? He sensed my presence. I noticed you. You think you can oh, stop would, me, do This would you? be really funny to see on the DS. <laughs> he yeah. just turns toward you. Yeah, it's us. I don't know why you're wearing my face, but you might as well give up now. I control everything. He turns off- Damn the, it! He turns off the DS. <laughs> Pulls a reset. Everything! Including the life of this police inspector in white. Just shoot, Cabanella. Come on! Took you a while. Wait, wait! Don't shoot! Okay. Yeah, so don't I manipulate figured. anything while he's watching. I figured, but I just wanted <laughs> to see what happens. Yeah, I wanted you to, to see that. This other me knows the powers of the dead well. Who wouldn't notice what you just did? You were practically shouting, look at me, baby. It looks like it might be hard to save you under these circumstances. 
I guess I can't use my powers right in front of him like that. Look, turning on a lamp. Guess I better rewind. <laughs> I just thought it'd be funny if it's like, yeah. ching! <laughs> There's another hilarious alternate death you can get that's pff, might be funnier than reclining the guy's seat in the van. <laughs> really? <laughs> I just want to examine this book. The top of this bookshelf is lined with books. This one on top is balanced so precariously, it's a wonder it doesn't fall off. How did the old pigeon guy even reach up here? He's a step and I wonder if he makes his pigeon fetch it for him. Um, <laughs> how are we gonna do anything without? Anything? Well, if he's watching, so we can watch things play out. I'm assuming he's just saying the same stuff. Yep. <laughs> Time's passing. It's true. It's really boring. Uh oh. Good thinking, Toad. Look at this place. Where is this? This is the basement where the other contraption yeah. was. Yeah. What in the world happened here? Think I'm starting to remember. Something bad happened here. And now, there's another death lying hidden here. What? Another death? Was it the Inspector Chief of Detectives? Didn't I tell you from the start? Didn't I say there was a very important life valuable to the nation here? I thought you were talking about you. <laughs> I'm just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. Little birdie. Why do you fly upside down? Hey, come to think of it, where is that old pigeon guy? Oh, is he dead? <laughs> Trick time. Nobody cares! Apparently, and Cabanella cares. He and the pigeon uh, guy are good buddies. They go drinking together. <laughs> it's tool time. Do I have to? <laughs> what? what the heck? Why do you hate the pigeon guy? He's so <laughs> for us <laughs> so you're like let's just leave him dead he didn't do anything for us <laughs> he didn't um excuse me are you awake of course i never sleep during work hours professor do you recognize me there's only one crazy character in a white coat that i know of he hasn't lost his memory I'm not the type who likes losing things. But never mind that. Cabanella, this is quite a surprising guest you've brought with you. Pretending like you didn't just blow up the place. Are you talking about me? Oh, this is a different guy. And I'm his guest, actually. Said he came to rescue us. Unlike you, my sharp friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. <laughs> pitiful. Ouch, that hurts. Anyway, now we'll be going back to four minutes before your death. In order to change your fate, that is. But aren't we already in the past, man? But we can go back even further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cabanella. But if we go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. It's also possible that we just can't save him in this current circumstance because yeah. everything's in his bright light. Four minutes before death, in the basement, 2.42 a.m. Um, why are you hanging out? How many times do I have to tell you, Professor, this place is dangerous? Don't be daft. I can't leave now. He's completely dead, but just as I thought, I'm getting a reading. Did they just murder him? No, this is the body that they found. Oh. This is the source of his powers. If I remove it... He's not dead! He's just not there! The true form of the manipulator isn't something you can detect, it's a spirit! Humph, <laughs> ridiculous. <laughs> so you figured it all out, huh? Another person. No, he, d he just wakes up. He just wakes up. But why? Oh, but the manipulator just is manipulating the dead body. Perhaps, yeah. <laughs> Which explains why he didn't die. You're a clever man, Inspector Cabanella. 
So it's really true! Y you're I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. But it's all just like you said. I died ten years ago. This body is just a vessel. Oh! A shell. So in other words, this is Kingdom Hearts. Nobodies don't have any souls. That's they not just... what they say! <laughs> no, but... <laughs> Nobodies don't have hearts. They don't have hearts! They don't have souls! <laughs> they don't have souls! <laughs> They're <laughs> terrible! Kill them all! Actually, that kind of is Kingdom Hearts. That is kind of what Yen Sid says. I control everything in this shell, people. Just like I controlled the Justice Minister and Lin. So it's true, you were manipulating my baby that time. You made her shoot your shell. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? To create conclusive evidence. You know, on that security tape. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like Zhao did. I will say he's kind of brilliant, but also we're dead because of him and it's stupid. Yep. <laughs> now then, Professor, I'm afraid it's time for you to die. I like how you're just like, eh. <laughs> I don't have any grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. Oh yeah? So why don't you let me live then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight, but before I do, I need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. Along with the contraption in this room. Cupid Zero. Lots to shoot people. This time, the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll all be over. Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little arrow this way. Professor, look out! Somehow, though, the dude's alive. <laughs> Dynamite, eh? When the devil did he put that there? He planned it all out tonight. Having my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappeared? Remember Owen Wilson? <laughs> yup, I remember him! <laughs> that medical examiner. Remember him? He was a complete and utter imposter. Yeah, we already he's, knew Yeah, him. he's using a stethoscope on his arms. <laughs> 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 he said he was going to take the corpse back to the lab. But he'd already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give his the body back. Yeah, we already knew that. I knew he was going to Oh, be I him. just love <laughs> 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 But I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. You saw through their plan, eh? I noticed right away the medical examiner didn't know the first fiend about examining a body. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. Oh, I love money. <laughs> <laughs> bought him off? I had him smuggle the corpse to this room. Which is why evil Sissel wasn't able to meet the people at the chicken kitchen or in the house. Because he was like, where the bleep is my body? He yeah, find yeah. It. I thought we could find the source of his powers. Of course, never in my wildest dreams did I think his abilities were powers of the dead. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before dawn. Oh man, he's going over to- <laughs> wait, wait, where is he gonna go to? The Blue Man Group. They founded their own country, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant, like, what would the country be, do you think? Like, where- where is this? Antarctica. <laughs> we're going they just to all have frostbite, that's why they're blue. <laughs> wow! <laughs> Pandora. Pandora. Yeah, they would go to Pandora. I'm gonna follow him. Oh, and I'm gonna follow him, of course, after I save you two. But something's been nagging at the back of my mind. I remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that spirits cease to exist when the day breaks. But if that's true, how could a spirit from ten years ago still be here? No time for figuring now, baby! Action is the name of the game! This also could just... I don't know. Work your magic and take us back, even further into the past. All right, man, jump in there and stop that explosion, would you? Is, is dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> Easy enough for you to say, is dangerous. <laughs> Foolish of you to say, too, is, is dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> she is dangerous. <laughs> if you stop the explosion, he'll just do it to me in some other way. Fair enough, then jump in there and take care of that man in red, would you? I repeat, easy enough for you to say. And most likely impossible to boot. That huge explosion didn't even make him bat an eye. Well, what do you propose then, Prof? Pray tell. Your best bet is to save me during the explosion without him noticing. 
Easy enough for you to say. Sheesh, what's with all these people? Anywho, just jump in there and do something. It's no use. I can't open it. Could the fact that the professor is standing on it have anything to do with it? I thought it would be like a trap door. It is a trap door, but we can't open it. Oh. I may look small, but I'm pretty heavy set. I pack a bunch of dumbbells in my pockets. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds so proud of that fact, too. This door. Such a pity. Too bad it doesn't open downward. Sometimes life can be so hard, wouldn't you agree, Professor? Yeah, that's why we're both dead. <laughs> hmm, a door that opens downward, eh? Yeah, because remember, we had to make that into a ramp on the first time someone died in this basement. You can explain the device. Oh, the Ellen Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> what in the world is this thing? This device has meteorite data entered into it. If it detects Temzik radiation, it responds. Got that, kid? Isn't it a lovely thing? I guess sometimes it's important not to think about things too much. Humph, what a sorry pair. I actually kind of like the pigeon guy. <laughs> no, we- okay, so we can't really do anything right now. I guess possess the measuring device, because he might carry it away. Don't be daft. It's dangerous. <laughs> Oh, that's the measuring device. I thought I thought we we're. I'm, wait, we can possess Sissel's corpse. <laughs> huh, ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Uh, uh, Ooh, there we go. Fool! What do you think you're doing? I just thought I'd try it out. If you do, you're gonna set the contraption in motion! Yeah, and he's right there. Oh, yeah. Just- I just fought. Huh. He just thought he'd blow me up is what he <laughs> thought! <laughs> Oops, that was my bad. But there aren't a whole lot of things I can use my tricks on in this room. <laughs> I, I do like the pigeon guy. He's kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, he's barely in it, though. <laughs> I'm going to destroy this bleak planet. <laughs> That's that guy? basically this guy. You just like lounged <laughs> even further. Oh, never mind. He got he got up. It was a jump. Pick up the present. It's just like you said. Stupid lawnmower is dangerous. Can't move. Time is passing. Maybe he has to like set it in motion, then we have to set it backwards. Now then, Professor. I'll be leaving this country forever tonight, but before I do, I need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. Along with the contraption in this room. I can just go backwards. Nope, we can only examine it now. As you perhaps have already noticed, time is running out, baby. Yeah, no perhaps about it, I know. But you know, there aren't a whole lot of things I can use my ghost tricks on in here. It looks like it's all over. Unless I find another path, I'm sort of at a deadlock here. Sissel. What? Hey, I know that voice. Help me. W where are you? Find me. Before I'm carried away. Hmm? What's with that frail sounding call for help? He's here somewhere. A friend of yours. The lamp? Yep, a little guy that looks like a little fragile, but he has strength that it'd surprise you. Well, he's asking you to find him. And before he's carried away, no less. But I'm almost out of time. Should I look for him? So, you might want to use the arrow keys to kind of look around. Okay. Yeah. He's probably... in the present. <laughs> before he's carried away, though. I don't know what he took with him. Yeah, 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 yeah. You are looking everywhere except where they, they are. Here? Here? You have looked in every direction except the direction you're supposed to. Okay, no, now you have. <laughs> I didn't know you could look up. Sissel. There he is again. Farewell. Sounds like your little pal was carried away. Where was he? 
<laughs> Maybe you should have tried to find him somehow. I looked! Maybe you should have looked around, you know, from corner to corner, baby. Now what? Maybe I should start over? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you literally looked Everywhere. every single place I didn't know except... we could look down! And then once I figured out we could look up, then I figured out we could look down. Um... He must be in there. <gasps> Mouse! <laughs> there are a lot of mice in this game. Or slash rats. <laughs> oh, we just looked up and Sisso was sitting upright and it's a comment. I was like, <laughs> what the boo? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we just gotta keep our eyes down here. I'm I'm expecting uh Frankenstein. Or I'm expecting or, or I'm or expecting Tarzan. <laughs> no, or I'm expecting a, a fourth Sissel because of this little little bit of hair. Little, little bit of hair. That's a flap of tarp. <laughs> okay, I don't think so. Look at how perfect it is. That's a blue flap! <laughs> I believe in this country. I need to erase Are you sure? Are you sure you're talking about Sissel and not- His hair! Like, it looks like his hair- His hair is yellow, not no, blue! No, it looks like his hair is- it's No use, I can't open it! Um, yeah, the professor is way too fat. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm only 80 pounds, you butt! <laughs> yeah, that's why we're both dead. <laughs> How lucky move. can they be? They're dead. <laughs> Down here. Yeah, Sissel. Help me. Help me, Rhonda. Help me get her out of my time. <laughs> He's here. He's here. I sense it. <laughs> I sense your presence. Mm -hmm. Precious. <laughs> Almost out of time. Oh, it's Missile! Sissel! Here I am! Oh, hey! It's... Missile! What are you doing there? Do you really have to ask? Seriously, are you really going there? Uh, no, that's okay. Never mind. Anyway, I need your powers. Will you help me out? Of course! Here, let me come join you! Swamp with the staff! Okay, here I am, Sissel! Now maybe things will flow in a new direction. Even though the flow of the sewers a bit stinky! Fate it's change! It's a bit stinky! Trick time! Fate didn't really change, he's still there about to shoot <laughs> Yeah, but now Missile is here! <laughs> oh yeah, you can use the arrow keys to jump around as I a forgot. ghost. Missile! Missile! Missile the pup! Um... There's nothing. <laughs> There's money in the banana stand. Try going over by the rats. See if we can do something over by the rats. Stop using the arrow keys. They're less precise. Marty, for crying out loud. Thank oh, you. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's not that difficult. Trash can. Old magazines. Those squeaky guys are making a fuss about something. Sissel! My animal instincts are starting to surface! If you mean you want to chase them, I think you have to be alive to do that. Hmm. There must be some kind of rat feast in that trash can. It's chicken. Those things are usually make a bigger commotion than that. A bigger commotion, eh? Okay, let's stop that explosion! Uh, no, we can't do that. Okay, let's take the man of- er, let's take care of the man of red then! No, we can't do that either. We can't do this! We can't do that! What can we do?! We let the explosion happen, then we rescue the old pigeon guy without the man in red noticing. And your powers are the key to all of it, Missile. Oh, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best! We're talking about a matter of seconds. We can't miss our chance. What the heck? Look at all the rats! <laughs> this is like Ratatouille! <laughs> this is like Ratatouille, but- Gusto's is... Kitchen is in the trash can. Now that's what I'd call some proper commotion! They're making that trash can dance! Truth be told, I do feel a bit like dancing now, myself. It's getting harder and harder to hold these wild instincts back! What a dangerous bunch. 
Trick time! Oh, oh, uh-huh. Oh, you see that? Oh, you see what's happening. Wait for it to move a little farther. Actually, wait. What? No, yeah, swap it now. Nope, can't move there. But you should be able to move up, back up to there, and go around. Yeah. Back. What? That should have worked. It probably isn't exactly the same shape right now. Stupid. Oh, beautiful! Look out! Instead, he gets exploded. Well, Kavanella gets blown up, but he doesn't die. He just breaks a lot of bones. Sticks and stones may break your bones, but Sissel's explosion will break your body. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, little pigeon. As for you, Inspector, ugh, I have a little job for you. I can't move. I think I have four or five broken bones. I don't mind. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. It might make it hurt a little bit when I move you, though. Quite a bit, actually. D Damn you! Yeah, I kind of wondered. We can leave Sissel's body dead, I guess. What a beautiful little pigeon. <laughs> so fat. I can't believe it! You lot actually pulled it off! Sorry, Inspector Cabanella. I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am, a poor broken heap of arms and legs. But no matter, I enjoyed the show. The magic disappearing act, that is, nothing like it, baby. Yeah, except, unlike a normal magic trick, I'm the one that managed to vanish without a trace here. New info has been added. Oh. Fate averted. New info. New present. What's the matter? You look like you'd rather be dead. Not that you aren't. I was just remembering the fact that right about now, the real me is giving the poor justice minister a real fright. Oh, that phone call. Yeah, he was pretty upset. Um, excuse me, mister. You really shouldn't be mean like that. And what's this lively little creature? Oh, this is the little doggy who has the warrior who keeps Camilla safe. Or, he would be if he was actually still full of life. Camilla. Gods in heaven! What a terrible fiend! That poor little girl, taken hostage. It's a cruel twist of fate indeed. Wait just a minute! Miss Camilla is a... hostage? Yes, we're so sorry, little warrior. Miss Camilla? A hostage? What's a hostage? Anyway, Inspector Cabanella. It's time to save your life now. But you couldn't get very far when you tried before, am I right? But this time it's different, right, Sissel? That's right. With us working together, it's a whole different situation. We'll save the Inspector in white, and then we'll go rescue Camilla, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this! Gee, kids, you're making me feel like an afterthought. <laughs> I mean, I guess. Alright, let's get started. Inspector Cabanella is upstairs, so our first step is to get up there. Sissel, I'll go up first and wait for you! Who went live on Twitch? <laughs> Ace Fangirl went live on Twitch. Okay, lovey dove, we need your help. Carry this measuring device upstairs. It has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. Cool. Cool. Dang, Pidgey Man is pretty cool. Pidgey's awesome. Pigeon's also really cool. Trick time. Pigeon, yeah. Pigeon Man is like, you see him and you're just like, okay, he's a weird one-off character. And then you're like, wow, Pigeon Man's actually pretty cool. <laughs> You've got grit, little pigeon. I'd better get up there before the little pigeon's strength gives out. Missile is waiting for me. I'd better hurry. <laughs> you took too long, Missile. I already saved him. <laughs> there you are, Sissel. Sorry for the wait, Missile. <laughs> Four minutes from now, the inspector will be killed by a gun. You just jump in there and stop him from firing, would you? <sighs> there you go again with that stuff. Besides, it doesn't make any sense. 
If you stop him from firing, he'll just kill you some other way. Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Yep, same situation as mine. Your best bet this time around is to allow him to shoot and then save Cabanello without him noticing. <sighs> it's even worse than last time. Anywho, jump in there and do something! Okay, I'm ready to jump in, Sizzle! Don't forget, whenever you want to use my powers, just touch my missile icon! Trick time! This is an amazing song. One of my favorites. Oh, Mr. Missile. Mr. Missile. The knit hat. <laughs> is that always that? I don't know. Look. When I can't... Okay, one thing that I, I find interesting that Nothing might be plot hole or might not, I can't remember how time travel works in this. So, Sissel and Missile can see each other's ghost icons. He is also a ghost. Why can't he see ours and why can't we see his? Because it's dumb. It's not dumb, it's just... We can't get up. Missile, do something. Remember, he's gonna knock the kettle down. Oh. Booyah. Open the spout lid. Don't open the spout <laughs> lid right in front of him, please. Uh. <laughs> it's a, this is an awesome remix of, like, the Back in Time song. Oh, he turned around. We can do stuff now. Open this mountain! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you want to swivel the lights. He's gonna notice when he turns back around and be like, what? He might not. <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Move missile out <laughs> and knock down the hard hat. <laughs> or actually... The helmet? We can't. That's because you're on it with missile. If you go oh. to with Sissel, we might be able to do something. Rock. What was that? Wait, that might be new dialogue. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you. No, it's not. Oh. That's the kind of guy you are. I got nothing to say to you. You never listen anyway. The moment where he gets up out off of the ladder is one of my favorite moments in the game, I'd say. <laughs> that made me go like, what, when I first played it. <laughs> Trick time. I'm pretty sure we can't do it, but <laughs> there might be something we can do. <laughs> we turn on the lamp light and then disintegrate him. <laughs> <laughs> what? Is he? I was about to be like, what is he, a ghost? But, yeah. <laughs> Oh no, let's not- Actually, we could talk! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sissel, could you explain something to me? Exactly how did the man in white die? He got shot with the gun. Gun, huh? I always wondered about those things. How could people die when they hear that loud bang? Huh? Oh, uh, hmm. Why do they? I don't remember. Oh, brother, I hope I never lose my memory. Mr. White Coated here died because he got shot with a bullet. Bullet? A little lump of metal. It proves fatal when it gets lodged in his head. Aha! I get it! It's like a little tiny mino, right? Yeah, um, something like that, I guess. Different shape, though. In that case, I ought to be able to use my powers on it to save the man in white! Hey, good news, eh, white coat? Can't anybody here just call me Cabanella? <laughs> Only if you stop calling him Pigeon Man. <laughs> Actually, I guess he calls him Professor. What's the thing? Oh, I'm gonna have What's him on the, the helmet. What's the story, if... Wishbone? Yeah, you could swap it with the helmet. I swap mean... Swap the bullet with the helmet? It, it might be facing the wrong direction, but... You might want to leave the ghost world to wait for the bullet to come around. Yikes, I'm a little scared right now! Why didn't he die? Because he's already dead. He died ten years ago. I knew full well he wouldn't die if I shot him. Then why did you go to the trouble of shooting him at all? Time's almost up, but that's enough chit-chat. But now the situation has changed slightly. These last split seconds are a chance. Two. 
This is like Whoa. this is like how slow Smash was online <laughs> for Brawl. First, for Brawl, zero. No, Smash Online was slower for Brawl. This was another condition of ideal to wipe out everybody who knew about Tenzin. He's going to shoot. It's too late. It's no use. Even with my powers, there's nothing I can do. I don't see anything to swap the bullet with. I guess you didn't make it in time. I'm so sorry, Inspector. Guess I'll have to try again. Again? I'm going to get shot again! Do we have to try all over again? Yeah, because I think we actually were supposed to let the hard helmet stay on the, sh uh, the shelf. Oh. <laughs> oh well. I can make a safe state once we get back up there. Oh hey! The pigeon just are, are is up here. Okay, cool. There you are, butt! <laughs> Did you say there you are, butt? Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to say bud, but it kind of came out as a T. <laughs> that works for the missile. There you are, you butt! What took you so long? Uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Just gotta right. wait for a guy to so have anger management issues. Yeah! I hate tea! <laughs> I'm a coffee man myself. <laughs> we can't use phones in the past, right? No, we can't. Not okay. unless somebody. Then our second that. option is we can either. So we while could. While turned away, we can either open the spout lid. What would that do? <laughs> maybe all of a sudden smoke would come out and go. <laughs> maybe and Mrs. Tim would spray magic dust. You've said that like three times before. <laughs> Whenever you say something ridiculous, that's what I like to say just well, to show how ridiculous Maybe it is. Maybe that could work, and then it's like, um, I don't know, then maybe Cavanel can get away. <laughs> oh, now that the spout lid opened, I know to run away. He's broken bones! He can't run! Okay, I'll turn on the light when he turns on <laughs> Right now! <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you see that? The bad Sissel turned around! Do you have to call him that? But yeah, maybe this is our chance to try some ghost tricks. This is the only time he takes his eyes off of me, too. If you have something to do, do it now. Time to wait. take the first steps towards saving the inspector. And then we'll swivel the thing, too. <laughs> the light, it burns! Wait, we couldn't swivel it and keep the light on? Of course not. You can't do more than one trick. Watch you turn it on as soon as he turns around so he's like, I noticed that. <laughs> no. Uh, make sure Missile can get over here. <laughs> missile! Because our point is, your point is to swap the hard hat with the bullet, right? Because they should be the same shape. Alright. That's the kind of guy you are. I, lo I love Inspector Cabanella's style. I wish we could do something while Sissel's over here. Yeah. Sissel is like a great villain, though. He's basically undefeatable. Trick time. You always pause it right in between the music transition. Don't sw <laughs> You're I'm gonna hit him in the face with the lamp! <laughs> Maybe I will! Maybe okay. I will. Make a safe state, and then you, yeah, try it. Oh, I it would... <laughs> didn't go nearly far. I thought enough. it would hit him. What's going on? I've only seen him like this once before. So you're here, Harry. Wait, where, what's the second ghost? He sensed my presence. <laughs> I noticed you. You think you can stop me, do you? Yeah. I don't know why you're wearing my face, but you might as well give up now. I control everything. Your face is Everything, including the life of this police inspector in white. I, I love the evil Cecil face. Uh, no need to do that. <laughs> oh, Safe <all> state. Right. <laughs> you're, I, okay, even if it touched him, even if the lamp did touch him, <laughs> what did you think it would do? He tanked an explosion and didn't even blink. Yeah, well, I thought maybe you would <laughs> caught him off guard. Oh, no. <laughs> what would it, <laughs> for how long? Like an hour? <laughs> Examine. Examine. Second hard hat. That's a knit hat. Jiggle. Sure. <laughs> I juggle. <laughs> I juggled. 
Yay! Yay! All right. <laughs> no, don't talk. The bullet. The bullet is going to be shifting the helmet. I know it looks like the longer, narrower one would be like the bullet, but it's not. It's actually the fatter one of the hard hat. Okay. Whatever you say. Stay in the hard hat and leave the ghost world. No, we're moving this. Okay, fine. But it's still flattened, so you can't swap it. Get on the hard hat and swap it when the bullet comes out! <laughs> it didn't let us! Because the hard hat was in a different direction. It was facing up instead of to oh, the okay. left. You you kept saying you wanted to swap the hard hat, but you weren't doing anything with oh, that. Okay. <laughs> this was another condition to wipe out everyone who knew about Tempsey. He's got a shoot! It's too late! Again, I'm gonna get shot again! No, wait, our chance is coming up. The last split second right, leave everything to me! Well, would you look at that? The bullet is hanging in midair between the gun and the inspector's forehead. Now's our chance! I'm hearing the bullet right now! Let's swap this little thing with something else! What? It's our only hope. There's gotta be something here with the same shape and direction as the bullet. Yeah, it wasn't the same direction last time. Oh, uh, I never saw a bullet before! It is such a cute little shape, doesn't it? I can check out the bullet's shape in the top screen. Okay, got it. Now I know what it's shaped like. It's still gonna hurt, though. <laughs> <laughs> Understatement! <laughs> Like, it's still gonna hurt. <laughs> he still died. Yeah! He took a hard hat to the face at the speed of Why the bullet. Why would you do <laughs> that? didn't go well. <laughs> we tried swapping with what we could find, but we just made things worse. Not nice, kids. Not nice at all. <laughs> you put a dent in my lovely mask. Hey, Artie's the one who told me to do that. No, that was your idea, and I was encouraging it because I knew it was a hilarious death. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to look for something softer to swap. I with. moved the knit hat over there <laughs> because I <laughs> thought it would work. No, we're no, not gonna you... rewind. We're gonna go back to that. No, thing. it's too late at the safe state. Oh. It's too late. Really? You had the right idea, but we need to knock the hard hat down while he's facing away. Because otherwise he'll be like, hard hat fell down. <laughs> You're here. Fine. Alright, so Sissel can wait here. There you are, Sissel, you butt! Finally! <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna- I wanted you to swap it with the hard hat. Yeah, because it's a hilarious alternate <laughs> death. <laughs> I feel like everybody gets that one. <laughs> okay, just hit back, hit back. Just wait for him to knock the kettle down first. Then go up to the hard- oh. Alright, go up to the lamp. Get ready to swivel it when he turns away. Steam. Huh. Blah, 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 blah. Objection. Objection. Okay, trick it. Move over to the hat, and then knock it down. What was that? Okay, now as Sissel, get ready. Uh, missile needs to move off of that. Hang out at the telephone, I guess. Sure, for the time being. Now have Sissel go over towards the ladder. The ladder. The ladder. Okay, he can't reach it just yet. But he should after evil Sissel gets shot and moves it backwards. Yeah. Otherwise, you figured out pretty much the entire puzzle. Of guy you are! <laughs> of guy you are! <laughs> that wasn't proper grammar. <laughs> I've got nothing to say. I hate, I hate people who misuse grammar. <laughs> Blam. Aw, <laughs> oh, that was me. <laughs> Trick time. Alright. Trick thing. Uh, 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 run up, run up the stairs. <laughs> I 
Thank goodness somebody had a knit hat in here. This is why people buy knit hats. So they can get shot with that instead of a bullet. <laughs> Alright. You know what to do now, right? I just move over to the helmet? No. You gotta use missile now. So <laughs> Swap the bullet with the uh, staircase. <laughs> 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 That'd be better. Okay, so I'm gonna have him on the knit hat. No, no, no. Okay, the knit hat won't work because A, it's the wrong shape, B, it's the wrong direction. Swap the knit hat with the thing you did last time. Up. Remember the book? Yes. Now I remember. And now because the hard hat's not there, it's gonna latch real nice onto that. Oh! Yeah. Wraps and fooey. No, no, that's good. Yeah, but th that's annoying that that was the only thing I did wrong. Right. Okay. Like, the only reason you it didn't work is because the hard hat was there. Oh, new dialogue. New. Going. Wow, would you look at that? Right on the hook! I love knit hats. So warm. And most of all, soft. Hey, now that I'm looking at it, that hat is the same shape as the helmet you just knocked down. Aha, I thought so. I wish that we so, could have used the lamp to hit him in the head. So here's my question. Do you think this guy is Ray? Um... Our chance is coming up. Last split second. Here's the thing. There were other things that Ray... If that were the case, Ray would have had to leave his, um, post as the lamp mm -hmm. earlier. Well, because why? We haven't seen the manipulator going around until now. Which is consistently yeah. right around the but same time that Ray disappeared. we've gone back and seen Ray. But the manipulator had to do stuff to manipulate Lynn. He manipulated Lynn before we died, presumably. Presumably. To shoot, uh, well, he... But I don't know how quickly he would have been able to go from there all the way down to the lamp. Right. We don't know his range as it goes. Sure, we do. Watch out! Look at that. The bullet's hanging in midair between them. Now's our chance. I'm hearing the bullet right now. Let's swap this little thing with the helmet. <laughs> <laughs> the helmet? No, you can't. The helmet's the wrong direction. Same I shoot. never saw a bullet. It's such a cute little bullet. This is still gonna hurt, but less so than the helmet. With those broken bones, that would be pretty painful, too. He doesn't seem to notice that the bullet wouldn't do that. He's just like, oh, He doesn't seem whatever. to notice the hat's there. I don't think he noticed. Looks like you pulled off another magic disappearing act. <laughs> and now I say again, I love knit hats. So warm, and most of all, soft. Did I? Did I do all right? You did a fine job, little one. You saved another life. And I'll keep doing it, too! Over and over! Fate averted! Except you're gonna be dead soon. What I saw in just these four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. All the research these past ten years pales in comparison, right, Professor? So you two are working together? That's about the size of it, yeah. Who would believe a story about a manipulator? So we pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's hurry back! Back to our time! We have to rescue Miss Camilla! You're right, Missile. And there's a certain guy I have to follow, too. Ouch. <laughs> yeah. After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left. And now a new story is about to unfold in a new present. How are you feeling, you old crazy character? Hey there, Prof! <laughs> We're both alive, I see. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. But I don't know if I'm getting older or what. I've got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion wouldn't bother me. Yeah, right. Like, I'm gonna believe that. So what? The guy in red is gone, eh? Just in case, I posted special investigation units all around the building. 
Let's just pray the boys came through for us. They're all dead. How can it be? They're, They're all dead. <laughs> Damn it! You listened to bad. You picked a bad time not to listen to me, body of mine. You have four broken bones, bro. Probably more now after the Cats. manipulator manipulated him. Well, it looks like both of their deaths were erased. Unfortunately, in the case of the inspector and in White, I can't call it a complete success. But in any case, these two have been the information I need to start tracking the manipulator. I'd better talk to them. If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. That way I could have been dancing after Big Red by now. Hmm. I might be able to erase deaths, but it's true I can't do much about injuries. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yes, yeah, suppose. Sorry, I suppose you're right. I just hate feeling so helpless. He was right there within my grasp. All our plans were resting on tonight, and then this had to happen. I guess he's thinking about his spotless record. It's not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Say, you're right. That's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. Okay. That's a lot. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole his life away ten years ago. <laughs> he's a fool. He's the one who made the decision to take that little girl hostage and he wound up dead. He has only himself to blame. But what about what when he said this? I was murdered by all of you! Detective Jowd forced me into a corner, Lynn the girl who was playing in the park, and finally you, Inspector Cabanella. If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. Yeah. Speak up. Yes. Ten years ago, on that day, the Special Investigation Unit was working on a certain big case. We hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very stupid mistakes. There's a lot of mistakes happening. Detective, I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it! Fine, fine, you're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the Special Investigation Unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. Okay, this guy sucks. It's true, yeah. But I... I'd just been assigned to the Special Investigation Unit, you see. They didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me yet, and I wanted to impress them. It was only supposed to be a simple matter of taking his statement. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. I drove him into a corner and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. Right. And then I made another mistake on top of that. Coming up. Coming up. Get me in it. Oh, wait. <laughs> I'm the chief. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm the chief. And the chief wants to see you. I love you in your report. I took you to food person, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. I'll be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. You left him all alone? Is that the problem? And that's when I did it. I left it behind in the interrogation room. My gun. Oh. How could you? He used my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake, he never would have had a gun to point at Lin in the first place. Here's the thing, though. That's not really... That sounds terrible to say. That's not as big of a mistake as the first one was. In my personal opinion. Because if there's a gun, like, that's your own consciousness and your own mind being like, pick up the gun and use it. Like, you can just leave it there. You mm -hmm. don't have to pick it up. It's an opportunity, but you don't need- Like, Von Karma, it was destiny! <laughs> yes, I have to do this! <laughs> I have to do this! No, that was his own decision to pick up the gun. The first one, though, where it's like, well, I guess I could just, like, lock you up in here even though, you know, you don't know anything. Like, that's more, like, this is all his fault, basically. Like, it's not all his fault, but he 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 was, really he was definitely not a very good person oh, no. back then. What the heck? <sighs> I knew there'd be something I wouldn't like about that. We first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. You mean underseas communication? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Because of the submarine! Overseas communication? 
For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on the communications networks. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country of blue people. <laughs> he said he wanted to buy him, him and his powers. He said he wanted them to buy him, him and his powers. That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. And in order to prove these powers of his, he gave them two predictions. He foresaw two completely preposterous, impossible cases. The case of a man who had seen National Secrets during a live rock concert broadcast, and the case of a man who would take the Chief Commissioner hostage in his own office. Hmm, those two inmates at the special prison, eh? We kept tabs on their communications and launched an investigation. And then finally we pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight and staked it out. Hence point X. That restaurant, the chicken kitchen. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight, on a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal. It's a submarine? But we haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. It's terrifying to think what would happen if his power were to fall into their hands. Right. Highly unlikely they'd use them for peaceful purposes. And now they have that little girl as a hostage. Camilla. We have to stop him before he leaves the country! Okay. This spotless record of yours, is it really that important to you? Of course, baby! In some ways, it's more important to me than my life. Which is stupid. Than your life, eh? After all, it's because of my record that I'm able to get my hands in all intel as head of the Special Investigation Unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation into the Manipulator case. The Manipulator case? That's why you cared about your record so much? Of course! Why else, baby? I just never could believe it, man. Jowd, shooting Alma. I didn't care that he confessed. There was definitely something more to the story. Some secret. I did everything I could to climb the ladder. Everything in my power. And then I finally found the answer. It took five long years, though. The manipulator. He's going to prove that Jowd is innocent. What incredible determination. There's one thing I just don't understand. If you were so determined to help Detective Jowd... Why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. And he himself asked to be executed, you know. As a man of the law, I had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. And that's why I brought him before the Justice Minister, too. I needed to buy as much time as I possibly could, baby. So that's it, eh? But there's one little unfortunate result of all this. Lin completely misunderstood your intentions. Ha! What a little... What's a little misunderstanding? My baby will come around. Give it time. But there are more important things to do with our time tonight. Like talking to the pigeon guy. Oh, we really can't go far. No, we can't. Mr. Superintendent, do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard superintendent, you know. I used to be part of the police. The police, huh? Not as a detective, but as a medical examiner. I investigated victims' cause of death. So all the, pe the person writing all the autopsy reports of Phoenix Wright is probably him. Ten years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse. Hit by a meteorite fragment and died instantly. That's what the police report said. There were no signs of life. He was definitely dead. But I never filed an autopsy report. That's because the corpse suddenly vanished. Leaving behind only one clue. It vanished? An unusual corpse. I bet that's what I've been chasing all night. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I have an interest in you recovering your memory and finding your true identity, too. That's the only way I can describe it, too. It was an unusual corpse. He was dead all right, no question about that. 
but there wasn't a scratch on him. What is this, the Terminator? <laughs> he's he's a robot. Like, he's a robot, but he's just like always moving. Not a scratch? But I thought he was hit by a meteorite fragment. I don't understand it any more than you do. I was completely bewildered, but when I tried to autopsy him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. You couldn't? What do you mean? The scalpel went in, but I couldn't cut. As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up in the very next instant. That's how it went. And no scarring or blood either. Uh-huh. That explains how he's able to tank a bullet and an explosion, then. And I never had the chance to solve the mystery. That's because the corpse up and vanished on us. The morgue is well guarded. Nobody could have stolen that body. But there is one way the corpse could have disappeared. What's that? By getting up to and walking out. He got up and he danced away. <laughs> <laughs> Moonwalks. <laughs> And then he killed everybody. It got up, opened the door, and walked out on its own. What?! He was dead, but he wasn't dead. We saw it with our own eyes tonight. Not even that explosion could kill him. And he didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on that stove. But- Oh! Two other options. We could- this could be a full- Voldemort or Tubba Blubba type situation. <laughs> <laughs> Where, like, the soul or, like, the heart is taken out and put somewhere else, and it's like, you can't kill me, stupid, I'm Voldemort, or whatever. But, but like, in reality, there's this. Or it could be, like, Tubba Blubba, where he's invincible until, like, oh. you find the heart and kill it. And we're the heart that got killed. But for whatever reason, he's, he's still, still alive. He made another. He made a second one. He made two Horcruxes. <laughs> <laughs> Clue left behind. The corpse left behind some data from the some testing I did. I got re I got readings from some kind of radiation coming off that body. Radiation? I used all kinds of instruments, but I couldn't determine exactly what kind of radiation it was. Some undiscovered type from a world unknown. Pandora. Wait a minute. Could it be? That's right. It was coming from that meteorite fragment. Dang, pig Pigeon Dude is so important to the plot. It's crazy. I wondered if he would be. Pretty much the only characters who aren't are like the random police officers. And the chicken kitchen chick. Memory. Memory. I mean, she was an undercover also, cop. That was kind of cool. wrong and Inspector yeah. Gadget. Oh, I, I was kind of lumping them in at the oh. police. I went to that park and tested the spot where the meteorite fell. And just as I expected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. It was the exact same pattern of radiation as that of the corpse. At the time, I thought he was some kind of immortal being. He would die, only to come back to life. I wanted to research it all in depth, so I quit my job as a police medical examiner. Several years later, I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator case. Thanks to the arrival of this crazy character here. Oh, stop now, Professor! Do you want to see me blush? And this explains why he has all the meteorite pictures, the rock pictures in here. Yeah. They're of Temzik. It was about a year ago, I'd say. This man in white came dancing into my research lab here. Oh, I want to hear this. I heard there was an oddball here who's researching Temzik. Is that you, baby? Who are you to be calling anybody an oddball? <laughs> I was investigating the manipulator case then. And then I heard there was a man who'd quit the police force to study the meteorite. When I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head. <laughs> At the time, we were just starting to get leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was yet. But we knew he was communicating with a certain foreign country. In one of those communications, we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. Yeah. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. 
the manipulator case and Temzik were somehow connected. Which also explained how five years ago he used his powers to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. He added that gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling Camilla. So that contraption in the basement here, you built that to try to help Detective Jowd? That's right. Jowd and I worked together back when I was with the Force. I used the reports of his case to try and recreate the device. But there was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce, no matter how hard I tried. Camilla told Jowd it had did it something it shouldn't have, made an impossible move. I added that part to the device I recreated. I put in a part that would allow Cupid to rotate, otherwise the gun wouldn't fire. So that must mean somebody manipulated Camilla's contraption. As a result, we proved ourselves th to ourselves that the manipulator actually existed. Inspector Cobanella! Hey, baby. Sorry about the phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. <clears throat> I hated to spoil your image of me. Of that... Cool cat inspector you always looked up to. Is that really the image she had of him? Inspector Cabanella, I'm sorry. I just heard you were chasing after that man all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you didn't have to be involved. So that's why you have me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always say, if someone's in the way, throw them in the slammer. Yikes. <laughs> tonight. I really thought we had finally had him. But my body gave out on me right at the critical moment. It's like a cruel joke. <laughs> but a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. Jowd! The minister called off the execution order! And while he was at it, he let Detective Zhao go free until tomorrow morning, too! That's a pretty extreme while he was at it! Good thing the minister just was like, No! I, I can't do this thing! I, I gotta just be the right person! <laughs> <laughs> like, that was good! Sorry I took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. There you go again. You've always been like that. You make everybody else run around, and then you swoop in at the last second. Jowd? Jowd. Here's your coat. Five years ago, you left this coat with me just before you turned yourself in. I promised to give it back to you one day. Does it still fit, or are you that fat? We let Gumshoe borrow it for a while. <laughs> and then he turned, uh, and he was the one who turned to green. No, it, it was green even back then, you know. I've been waiting so long, Detective Zhao. Waiting for this day to come! Thanks for not giving up on me, Lin. Okay, I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend. I like your pajamas. Th that's his prison uniform. Yeah, I know. It just looks like pajamas. This present you gave me, it's just what I needed. Thank you. Glad you like it. Meanwhile, nobody's gonna help him with his broken bones. <laughs> it's called a hospital, maybe? Sissel, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You and I have to go find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? We don't know where the submarine is, and the phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their calls. We'll get you hooked up somehow. You'll see. Could you wait here until we do, please? Sure, play the game for us. Okay, fine. I'm counting on you. This true self you're looking for? I bet you'll find it soon! Alright, I'm leaving, Inspector Cabanella. Call the hospital, <laughs> baby! <laughs> <laughs> it's almost dawn. I'm not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from knowing who I am than ever. But now I don't feel so alone. Yeah. Each one of us, for his or her own reasons, is looking for the truth. Tonight, I think we can shed a light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. 
but it's almost done. It could be that the lamp is like us in like 70 years from later, like, oh yes, I remember this time. I remember I going back here and saving everybody. everybody. Let me teach you how to play the game. And then he just dies off because he's old. And then like... <laughs> <laughs> he's a ghost! <laughs> He finally died off because he's old. Ray was taking his morning constitution <laughs> and he decided to go back in time and tell you how to beat the game. But if that was the case, wouldn't he be more helpful? No. He wants you to learn everything. <laughs> Alright. Well, that was a long episode, but thanks for watching, everyone. Now you can kind of see why I like that chapter so much. Yeah. Everything's fallen into place. We had chapter 16 and chapter 17 left. Nice. Chapter 16 is where the game starts getting pretty intense, though. So. That's fine. It's so good, and this game has a fantastic ending. Woo! Look forward to that. Until Excited. we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless. This could also be, like, remember when Tarlock or whatever blood-bended- I thought for sure you were going to say, remember when Tarzan blood-bended people? No! Remember <laughs> I when remember Tarlock bloodbended people and they're like, whoa, he just took away their bending! It's like, but it's with bloodbending and you're like, how that, did- That wasn't Tarlock, that was Amon. Oh, whoa, well, okay, remember, <laughs> what, remember when they both learned how to bloodbend in the middle of the day? <laughs> and, sure. Like, <laughs> Spoilers for Legend of Korra. Nobody cares about Legend of Korra. But anyway, they had that whole thing happen. They're like, oh, Amon, he's evil. Like, all of these things are happening. And like, all the oh, whole time- they're sitting in midair. How do they <laughs> do, do that? that? <laughs> yeah, they, all of that stuff happening. And then like, Korra just figured out how to do everything. Yeah, yep, that, that's the TV show. That's the TV show. And it had the really stupid ending. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They could have The agenda-pushing ending that came out of nowhere. Here's the thing. If they had ended the show after season three, it would have been perfect. <laughs> Korra is completely, like, broken emotionally and oh, physically. Oh, I forgot. The yeah! I forgot that's how it ended. Okay, if it ended after, like, episode five of season four, where she's like, I'm mended. I am well. I, I, I have removed the poison from my body. That would have been a dumb end. What happened to Kuvira? Who cares? <laughs> if you took her out of the picture and then had, like, Tarzan... Not Tarzan. <laughs> <laughs> if you had Tarzan come in at the end, that would have been the best ending. If you had Tenzin and his siblings still, like, um... <laughs> didn't they Didn't they have, like, the, oh, we're siblings, we have to stick together thing in, like, season four? <laughs> Or was that, that season was two? two? <laughs> that was season two? That was, that was season two where they Wait, did the you was that when they also found the, um... We stick together. Was that when they also we found um, the guy that looks like Donkey Kong in the spirit world? Yes, they found <laughs> yeah. Donkey Kong in the spirit world. <laughs> no, the guy Tarzan who looks like... Tarzan comes him. in at the end and saves the day. That's no. Winston of Korra. No, I meant the guy who looks like Donkey Kong. Oh, Zhao. That's yeah, Admiral Chow. <laughs> uh, Future already put this in as an end of the credits like stainer thing. Yeah. <laughs>